Did you know that esteemed American inventors Thomas Edison and Henry Ford both wintered in Fort Myers, Florida? And you thought this coastal resort town was only about sand, surf, and sun. Of course, plenty of that's nestled amongst the historic homes, museums bursting with knowledge, ancient artifacts and art, rugged wilderness packed with unique wildlife, and, secret and tons of shopping and dining. So stick around as we go over the best things to do in Fort Myers, Florida. Edison and Ford Winter Estates Head back in time to America at the turn of the 20th century by paying a visit to the Edison and Ford Winter Estates. These museums are housed in the real winter homes of iconic inventors Thomas Edison and Henry Ford and are regarded as some of the best in the country. Inside, you can learn all about these men's contributions to American history. The grounds include curated gardens, working laboratories, caretakers' cottages, and even a swimming pool the homeowners once shared. Florida Repertory Theater a rainy day in a beach town isn't much fun unless it's Fort Myers. That's because this coastal city is home to the Florida Repertory Theater, or the Rep as locals fondly call it. Expect to see everything from professional comedy and musical performances to serious dramas and shows for kids. The building itself, dating from 1908, is also a delight to look at. Go to a matinee for cheaper tickets. Fort Myers River District if you're looking to hit all the major Fort Myers sites in one go, head to the Fort Myers River District. This area is packed with historical buildings dating from the Art Deco era, thriving cafes, restaurants and bars, and high-end boutique shops and art galleries. And that's without even mentioning the numerous events and markets held throughout the year. The brick-paved streets are perfect for wandering from gallery to shop to restaurant. Before we tell you more about the best of Fort Myers, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Fort Myers Beach Fort Myers Beach is probably best known for The Strip, where you can stroll, drive, or rollerblade along, showing off your finest beach gear. The beach boasts soft golden sand and refreshing water, perfect for paddleboarding and sunbathing. The Fort Myers Beach Fishing Pier is ideal for people watching or if you're a dab hand at angling, catching your dinner. If you're not up for fishing for your food, head to one of the many restaurants lining the shore and enjoy the famous Fort Myers sunset over a cocktail and nibbles. Bailey Matthews Shell Museum If you're fascinated by all things marine biology, you'll be enamored of your visit to the Bailey Matthews Shell Museum. This is the only museum in all 50 states devoted to seashells and displays hundreds if not thousands of preserved species. You'll get to see the shells of local and international mollusk species, including those that build some of the largest shells in the world. There's even a live shellfish display, home to everything from fighting conches to octopuses. Lover's Key State Park Because you could once only access Lover's Key by boat, it was famous as a spot for couples looking for a private place to spend time together. Today, the Four Island Chain makes up the Lover's Key State Park. It's full of mangrove forests, sandy bays, and well-maintained hiking and biking trails. The waters that surround the islands are home to wild manatees and dolphins, so try to get out on a kayak or canoe if you want to spot them. Six Mile Cypress Slough Preserve the Six Mile Cypress Slough Preserve is another park well worth visiting. The preserve expands over a whopping 3,500 acres and entry is free. The trails through the park are filled with signage detailing the unique flora and fauna, marine birds in particular, the park is home to. Perfect for a self-guided tour set to please the entire family. You might see endangered species like otters or alligators if you're lucky. Don't forget to support the preserve by buying a few souvenirs at the gift shop. Sunsplash Water Park Yes, there's almost an endless parade of beaches in Fort Myers. However, sometimes you want a bit more excitement than nature alone can offer. Sunsplash Water Park spans 14 acres and is packed with everything from heart-stopping water slides to a watery Pirate's Cove playground for the little ones. There are shaded picnic areas for mom and dad to relax while the kids play. Captiva Island Captiva Island is regularly dubbed the prettiest island in all of Florida, and it's not hard to see why. There are a plethora of pristine beaches for swimming, snorkeling, scuba diving, or sunbathing. Other tourist hotspots include the Clinic for the Rehabilitation of Wildlife and the historic one-room schoolhouse known as the Chapel by the Sea. Visit at Christmas to see the island's palm trees decorated with colorful string lights. Burroughs Home and Gardens 
The luxurious Burroughs home and gardens was the jewel in the crown on a Fort Myers street once dubbed Millionaire's Row. This lavish estate was built in the Georgian revival style of the early 1900s for cattle rancher John T. Murphy and was bought by the Burroughs family not long after. The historical home boasts 11-foot-high ceilings, a widow's walk, a library and music room, handcrafted stained glass windows, and even a dancing porch. Imagine the parties once held here. Outside, you'll find various unique water features, including a well-fed grotto and reflecting pool. Lakes Regional Park Who thought a former gravel quarry could become a playground for people and wildlife alike? But that's just what happened with the almost 300-acre Lakes Regional Park. This unique sightseeing spot is located not far from downtown Fort Myers and features an artificial lake, picnic and camping sites, hiking and biking trails, and sports and fitness stations. Sanibel Island Light Did you know the Sanibel Island Light is among the first lighthouses ever built on the Gulf Coast? This historic building complex dates from 1884 and contains a light-tipped iron tower accessed by a spiral staircase and several supporting buildings. While you can no longer climb the 100-plus stairs to the top of the tower, you can tour the site to learn more about the lighthouse's history. Smuggler's Cove are you and the family up for a round of golf? Mini golf, that is. Head to Smuggler's Cove to swing the club next to live alligators, over pirate ships, and through waterfalls and caves. And this isn't just a place for family fun in the form of silly sports. Each Smuggler's Cove course educates people about Florida's amazing alligators through feeding displays and exhibits. Baseball Spring Training Fort Myers's always warm climate means the city is the spring training location for many major league teams. Head here to see your favorite teams compete, from host teams, the Boston Red Sox and Minnesota Twins, to those heading to Fort Myers for away games. Heading into summer, you can also catch minor league baseball games at Hammond Stadium. Times Square If you're at Fort Myers Beach, be sure to stop by Times Square to sample some of the tastiest and trendiest snack shops and restaurants the city has to offer. The area features lots of brick-paved pedestrian-only walkways, replete with buskers, souvenirs, and market stalls. Get here before sunset to watch the sun go down with an ice cream or some fresh-caught fried seafood. Manatee Park have you always wanted to commune with a manatee? Head to Manatee Park to get up close and personal with as many as 50 of these gentle ocean giants. The park encompasses 16 acres and is a non-captive, warm-water refugee for manatees. To make the most of the experience, rent a kayak or canoe and venture out into the canals. Butterfly Estates a visit to Butterfly Estates is like something out of a Disney movie. You'll not only see tons of beautiful local butterflies, the result of careful breeding programs, but you'll also learn a lot about the butterfly's fascinating life cycle. This tourist destination is conveniently located in downtown Fort Myers and is especially fascinating for the littlest ones in your family. Florida Panther National Wildlife Refuge the Florida panther is one of the state's most critically endangered species, with only 120 to 130 left in the wild. The Florida Panther National Wildlife Refuge was set up to conserve what little habitat is left for these majestic beasts in an effort to bolster their numbers. While it's unlikely you'll spot one of the notoriously shy panthers on your hike, you'll have a chance to see alligators, coyotes, fox squirrels, black bears, and all kinds of birds. Admission is free, but we encourage you to donate to this worthy cause. IMAG History and Science Center If you're looking for indoor activities to do with kids under 12, head to the IMAG History and Science Center. There are 60 interactive exhibitions that cover various science subjects like technology, space, nature, culture, the sea, and much more. There are live animals like snakes, turtles, fish, and frogs, and there's even a section that dives into the history of Florida. Flea Masters Flea Market one of the quirkiest places to visit is the famous Flea Masters Flea Market. Head here to pick up everything from vintage clothing to your next set of golf clubs. With around 900 shops to browse and regular concerts, you'll never get bored. The market is only open to visitors Friday to Sunday every week. Now it's time to hear from you. Did we miss any of your favorites in Fort Myers? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Vucation if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.